My name is Jonathan Parks, and welcome to Jonathan's Nature Craft. I must inform you that I do not live in this house by myself, but live here with other people. Sometimes other members of the household may have to walk through areas where I might be recording with other family members on the phone. If you hear any noise like that, please feel free to disregard. We are doing our best to get noise-canceling equipment, which may at least keep you from hearing exactly what is being said. Thank you for considering. I know that you all can see here that the room is kind of a mess with all the collectibles I keep in here, but this was a moment I decided to kind of get on the laptop here, and I'm kind of going through some of my Google Sheets as I'm doing this to kind of look at some of the items I have in inventory just to kind of be able to see just what prices I'm putting on things. I'm doing this currently on the laptop, as you can see, and kind of one of those things where I've purchased a lot of these tags. I'll show one to you up front. It says Jonathan's Nature Crafts, just like that, and then just kind of working my way about just writing the prices on things and Sort of, I'd say, like, um, you know, putting the little, um, with what, whatever, wherever I put that ink pen, yeah, I tell you, that's just what I'm doing right now, and I'd probably say just a little ways sometimes, you know, that things get a little mislaid here and there, and we don't know where they go, but I tell you, I just found it now, and I'd say that there's just like some more items we got here. We got this Doberman Pinscher that already has one. We've kind of got this little pug that already has one. And a lot of these things, I kind of mark them off on my sheets as I work on them. There's a certain thing sheet I need to check here, and that would be... This um, one that is the <coughs> one with the little people on it, the and just to check a little price or two here, there's probably just a little thing or two I've placed on some of these, and yes, I've actually do have these certain gnomes that I made like this a long time ago and like this one here as well and have little tags to put on them because they're just kind of a little new project I've had and something that I've kept on Etsy for over a year but it never sold on Etsy while I'm showing dogs thought I'd show y'all the dachshund as well but when it comes down to it, I've got little tags to place on these little gnome figures, and as for wherever that ink pen went again, I'd say it's hard to remember where you lay stuff down when you go through stuff like this, but I think I've probably got plenty more of them down in this little bag I keep crap, I say that we've kind of got to keep up with our little prices here, and hopefully I've got one that has enough ink in it too, but I'm going to check the price again on those two gnomes there, it's like there's just um this little yellow and green one I've got here and this little blue and red I think I kind of ended up marking them down to just ten dollars on the inventory sheet so I'm gonna kind of put it that way on the tag here 
And just to tell you all that I'm kind of getting on here and doing this just to kind of find a way to keep you all posted about things because I've been doing some carving on my own time and in the guild meetings I've been back to attending, but it's gotten a little hard to do any videos because I just kind of got a little sick in my throat lately and get to where I talk a lot and cough a lot and especially if it's right after eating, kind of have little episodes of acid reflux from that, so kind of just got to be a little careful what I do here. Found one here that actually works. And there's probably going to be a little more inventory work that's going to be to do whenever we can just um, get back into the time when I won't be on video. I'll be writing it down on the sheet again. It's hard to kind of go from the webcam to the screen sometimes because that'll be just a little bit of a difficulty here and there when you just really, really, really try to do it. And I do want to tell you all that I decided since there's a certain church I've been watching on Facebook, decided I'd try to go out and attend there this morning, but... For me personally, it didn't go well because it was kind of a little small auditorium and of course there were chairs in there, but I'd say the back was just as crowded as the front and, you know, there were just a lot of people in that room compared to how small the auditorium was and probably not another one I'll probably be trying to go back to again because it's going to probably be a little trouble here and there and you know some churches just kind of have their own rules so you know if it's if you're in one that does kind of have have a lot of rules to it I mean you can be a little different like I am and kind of be a little hard for people to understand and so I decided I'd just get out of there and kind of try to get away from that there was a couple out there nice enough, the lady herself, to ask me if there was anything she could help me with. I said no and just explained my situation and it was all just as good as it could be. I say that there's times when we have little times we go through the things we do and see a lot of strange things in this world and how they turn and how they go, and I say that this is just a time when, oh, I say that work is just really coming to us here. Don't think what I had, like even though I said this in one of my last videos, don't think that this feeling in my throat and sinus really is a cold or anything like that, and don't think it really did come from the waitress. Think it probably just more or less could have just, I'd say, you know, just came from allergies and changes in weather fronts. That's what I figured out over time. I'm sure if it had been a virus or a germ, I could have been much worse. But I'd say that there's little random things I want to talk about today. You probably see these little owls here that I made out of Tuplio. And I'm going to go back to my list to see a little thing or two, what kind of price I might have put on them. And um does turn out I probably had... Well, yeah, uh, I'd say yes, I did kind of change it to 10 there. I mean, because they weren't selling at all. I, I mean, I originally had them at 15, but need to take these little stickers that say 15 off of them. Those stickers kind of stayed on things for a while, things that I thought were too small to fit a tag on, but 
we've kind of got, you know, different tags now and different strings that kind of have a way to sort of hold things a little more differently and make it so they'll just kind of, I'd say, like, you know, work a little better. Oh, I say, oh, time in our lives, we really work at what we do. Still kind of got my coffee pot brewing over there. And that's another thing I really love is my coffee. And it kind of, you know, just as, as I'd say, helps me to kind of stay enough busy with my work and inventories and carving and things that I do around here. Haven't spent quite as much time doing much of the sewing and stuffing as much lately, although I did probably have a couple of little animals that I had sewn that um, I'd say I had them out at McLeod's the other day just stuffing one of them. It was a kitten in the new type of pattern that I made for a kitten, that is, and kind of worked a little way about it and made it so it just kind of came right up and it's kind of one which rather than crawling on all fours like the ones you've seen is kind of in a rather sitting position and that's kind of how I've worked about the things I've done made things so they all just kind of come to reality and I'd like to show you all some pictures of some of those things I've made in the new versions of the patterns whenever I can get around to posting them and you've just seen a lot of the work I've done and how I've just really gone about it to make it the way it is and what it is and all and I say that this is just one of those ways that we have a tendency to just work together on things and this is just one of those times when I'm tying a string around a tag right now making it so we are coming up with the little owl in its own way and there's been some old cartoons about owls I've seen at times, so that's kind of one of the places where, you know, little ideas come. This owl, it kind of looks a little more like a Pokemon, though, probably. And I'd say there's a few little single items I have here. I think that for what I'm checking here... You know, there's another inventory I have called the Singular Items Inventory. And it is just something where, you know, there's, I'd say I've got this Wildcat here. Apparently the price has not changed on that. But I've got this little Walnut Bear here that you see. And he used to be priced at about $30, but think I'm going to mark him down to 25 so he'll sell a little better for the future. I have sold a few bears like this for 30 bucks, but it's probably kind of getting to the point where some of this stuff I've just had for so long and need to mark down the prices just to change them and see how much better off they go and that's why sometimes you have to do little markdowns because things will go a little bit more on clearance the way you kind of work a little more about them this is really the last bear of this particular pattern that I have I carved a couple more out of butternut and there's going to be a time in the future when I'll 
get those out for some other shows, but right now we're just going to try to take care of getting this one sold and then take care of trying to sell the others when the time comes to do it. So this is just some of that work we've gotten so much busier with lately and I say, you know, it's just a good thing to work about all the little old things we do, I say, and I tell y'all, this is just one of those bears that comes with a little pattern with a Santa, and I just made my own little translation of the pattern, my own rearrangement that would be a little easier for me to carve was, you know, talking to the naturalist about this yesterday at McConnell Springs, and she kind of agreed. She's one of those people who in the past has bought from me one of those squids that I carved from a twig. Time to check the timing on this video here. Yeah, I'll tell you, we probably got a few minutes left to go, but think while I'm at it, I'm going to try to look up what prices I put on these trolls here. I carved these trolls out of basswood and soaked them in linseed oil to give them their little bit of color, but we're going to go back to this one about that's about the little wooden people, and yes, I do have the trolls on there on that list, and Got them listed as being priced for $15, so that's what I'm going to write on the tag here. Just like this, and again, just like this. While I'm at it, I might even see if I can probably turn this camera down a little bit more to let you all see how I put the tags on exactly by taking this tag string that I purchased off of Vista Print, which is also where I purchased these cards from, and put the string through the little tag and kind of like um come up here where the little tag collides with the troll and sort of I say like um kind of put the little place on here where we're going to tie the string around and see little trolls in this little work I say that we got the knot right here this is how we got it on and I've got uh, some shows coming up, including one that is, like, probably at a homemaker's club from what I've seen. And that's just one thing we're working about here with this. Probably got to hurry this video up a little bit soon, because I'd say this is just my kind of work to do this and one thing I tell you all is that this is just the kind of thing where we just work at what we do you know you know and I say this is just kind of how it all makes itself for the better and just make a little knot we tie right in there and cut the string off and put it away with the rest. There's probably going to be quite a few more things to be putting little tags on as we come along. So I'd say we're kind of going to try to end this right here. Try to kind of... Maybe even sooner or later, probably have to order some more tags. 
because we might not have enough for every item here, and we don't really know how that is going to go. So we just stay busy at what we do, try to work at what we do, try to keep business going the best we can because there's just a lot we look after in this world and a lot we see and I'd say that this is just one of those things where since I've been sitting on my legs so long, have to get up like this to try to get the nerve back into them. But this is just a moment when we come on to say that it's been good to have you on video to watch me and thank you so much. Take care and see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. I hope to see you in the next video. Stay tuned.